Hi everyone, my topic is under the trematodes of Pestorchis viverini or known as liver fluke and we will gonna learn the characteristic life cycle, complication of organism and the treatment. So what is Opistorchis biverini? Common name is Southeast Asian liver fluke. It is a food-borne trematode parasite from the family of Pistorchidae that infects the bile duct of a human. People are infected after eating raw or undercooked fish. Infection with the parasite is called Ophistorchisis. Ophistorchis viverini also increases the risk of cholangiocarcinoma, a cancer of the bile ducts. The body of an adult Ophistorchis viverini is flat like a leaf and shaped like a lancet and can be seen through transparent. They are monoecious. No male or female individual exists. Each fluke has the complete sets of both male and female reproductive system. The picture shows a photomicrograph of an adult of Storchis viverini in the left side. It is a. Uh, it is from the bile duct of experimentally infected hamster and in the right side shows the image of an egg of Storchis viverini in 400 times magnification the image shows the microscopic image of a uh, of Storchis viverini and its major part like oral sucker, pharynx, sesum, ventral sucker, vitellaria, uterus, ovary, milis gland, and excretory bladder are present. Life cycle of this organism is a bit complicated process like any other tropical parasite. It involves a freshwater snail in which a sexual reproduction takes place and freshwater cyprinid fishes as intermediate hosts. Piscivorous mammals, including humans, dogs, and cats, act as definitive hosts in which sexual reproduction occurs. The life cycle of Ophistorchis viverini came from the feces of infected human. Then, eaten by the snail, the, the inside the snail tissue, the miracidia grow into sporocysts and contain spore like daughter cell. The daughter cells called radiae multiply and develop into numerous larva called cercaria. Each cercaria has a large head and a long tail. The cercaria escape from the snail and enter the the enter the water and into a free swimming larva. Then their tail act as a propeller for swimming and they actively search for a fish host. Then the cercaria locates a cyprinoid fish and then attach to the fins or skin. Then the then it becomes a metacercaria. Then the fish eating mammal like dogs, cats, and humans become infected by ingesting undercooked fish containing metacercaria. After ingestion, it will ascend to the ampulla of butter into the biliary duct, where they attach and develop into adults, which lay eggs after three to four weeks. Then, 
the fluke is reside in the bilary and pancreatic duct of the mammalian host, where they attach to mucosa. Ophistorchis viverini is one of the three most medically important species in the family of Ophistorchidis. In fact, Ophistorchis viverini are capable of, of causing cancer in humans and are classified by the International Agency for Research on Cancer as a Group 1 biological carcinogen in 2009. It is commonly found in Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia. This organism has many effects on our body. Some of mild cases are abdominal pain, diarrhea, or constipation. And, and some lethal effects on our body are cholestitis, pancreatitis, and obstruction of the bile ducts. Under severe infection, produce problems in the liver, gallbladder, and bile ducts. The bile ducts of heavily infected patients are usually dilate, dilat, dilated and indicate fibrosis. Pathological effects on the bile ducts include inflammation, epithelial, adenomatous hyperplasia, and periodontal fibrosis. Infection with these diseases and other flukes in Asia mostly affected are the poor people. Unfortunately, there is no approved drug for the infection. However, a Swiss researcher have tested tribindimine and achieved a 70% cure rate. A general trematocide praziquantel is used for the infection, but it is not re technically recommended. In addition to that, other commonly used antelmentex such as albendazole, artisanate, and meltiposin is found to be effective for treatment. And that's all about my topic and thank you.